Yogaya Yoga presents Yoga Outside the Box, Reimagining the Art of Flow. Hi, I'm Linda Stacy. You might know me from magazines and my column in the newspaper and so forth. But today we're here to talk about yoga, and I'm here with Antonia Ka. And in full disclosure, I have been training with Antonia for, well, 150 years maybe, something like that. Okay. <laughs> and I want to ask you, I'm so excited about your new book. So tell me, it's called Yoga Outside the Box. That's right. I love the title, but maybe it says a little fringy, you know, goat yoga, hot yoga, whatever. What makes this book so innovative? And why would you even innovate the ancient traditions? You're so right. We are in the age of yoga synthesis where oh, everybody man. fuses everything. But the interesting part of this type of innovation, I call it informed innovation, experimental innovation, is because the core yogic philosophies remain the same. All yoga okay. types okay. are, in effect, self-realization tools. But the form of the yoga is bound to change in terms of sequences, how is the class connected, the design of the class, the transitions, maybe new asanas, which I have created over the years, and uh, a very fluid and organic flow. So it's kind of a new vision for flow yoga. Okay. These days, everybody's a yoga expert. They're selling yoga spray, they're selling yoga mats, they're selling yoga hats, yoga. And everybody seems to like take six weeks of yoga training and all of a sudden they're a master and they're teaching other people. Yeah. I don't think that's probably right. How many years have you had of teaching and training? Now 30 years. Okay, there you go. That's not six months, the right? The first five was just scratching the surface. The second 10 was getting comfortable, then embodying the principles of yoga. And now I can, uh, you know, say I'm a good learner. <laughs> okay, so it's not six weeks. No. <laughs> okay. Since you've created a whole new way to yoga, how is yoga outside the box different from all the so-called celebrity yoga books and the so-called expert books and all that? How are you different? How is the book different? That's a great question. Yoga outside of the box gives a different spin to yoga. It's a more modern spin. Most of those books that you're alluded to uh, gravitate around the core tenets, the restraints, and then the philosophy of yoga, the ethical codes. But yoga outside the box is an inspirational journey, and it takes you into a practical part of the book mm -hmm. where you can actually try the principles, the practices, and then there is an inspiration inspirational journey around the world where I harvested all the lessons and all the techniques. Okay, here comes the impossible question. How can you sum up this book, Yoga Outside the Box, in a nutshell? What would you say to the expert? What would you say to the beginner? Hmm, the book in a nutshell. Brave up. Get out of your comfort zone. You're skipping on the same track. Move from that autopilot mode and to shaper, rekindle your inner child, try something new, move your body in a different way, flex your brain in impossible ways, and you will feel refreshed and you can take this freshness into your life. Wow. Clearly, yoga outside the box is extensively researched. I, that, that's very clear. That being said, some of these sequences and transitions in asana are untested, they're new. How do you justify that? Yes, I've uh, collected all these pieces of the yoga puzzle around the world and through many, many years of practice, but also theory and research, I've come up with this new concept of innovasana, which we have like a in gallery, asana. yes, of 101 new asana. What? And we know yoga is not about the asana, but it just is a manifestation of how you can really unleash your imagination within a set structure and build up on it. So you're saying that this will actually increase your imagination, help you to be more creative? Correct, because it triggers your glymphatic system of the brain and it starts to sprout new brain connections because you're moving in different ways and you're not doing the same old, the same old, and skipping on the same track. Well, that, that happens. You go to a yoga class and it's the same thing over and over and over again. Yes, and the same poses Which is are why being I don't recycled. Go to other yoga classes. <laughs> <laughs> so, your book is part memoir, part comprehensive guide. 
But if you were a novice just starting out in yoga, wouldn't you have to learn the traditional before you go and do something innovative? Well, this is a transformational journey, and actually the basis of yoga are incorporated in the book, oh, but okay. it takes you a notch further into transforming yourself, reimagining how you do things, and reinventing yourself if you feel like. What is Yogaya's edge? as opposed to traditional and other modern approaches to yoga. What, what is that? Yogaya's edge forges a new vision of yoga. It's kind of a new approach to yoga and creating and designing sequences and customizing sequences. So when you say, I'm going to design a sequence for you to heal your neck, it will be so targeted that you will get the effect instantaneously. And you're not going to be recycling the same kind of poses, like in most of the yeah. YouTube mm -hmm. videos offered out there. So, so I would can, say can that is Can yoga turn me 20 years old? Absolutely, yes, <laughs> if you do it consistently and you do it online. <laughs> so why now? Why this book now? So we have this uh, very successful Yoga Yoga channel on YouTube for 20, 12 years. Which is great. It's great. Uh, and we, I remember we started on the water dragon year. Now it's the wooden dragon year. So 12 years, the people on the channel, many subscribers and followers, really devoted followers have been asking, where's the book? Where's the book? Here's, Here's the book. The book. Uh. <laughs> so what's next for yoga and yogaya and you? I mean, you're a wellness guide, you're a yoga influencer, you're an author, you're a teacher. What next? So we're actually turning Yogaya Yoga into a lifestyle brand now. And we are currently working on a women's health package where we're incorporating beauty tips, health tips, mental tips, emotional release tips, all in one package. Along with that, there's a very exciting Fertility Avenues nine-step program for women who want to get pregnant. And in line with that, there is a women's movement that I started in uh, the um, meditation center in New York, Om Meditation Center, and it's called Biopulsar, pulsing with the seasonal changes. And that is breath-based uh, and some meditation tips. Great. Um, can you give us a couple of snippets from the book? Oh, my favorite moment in this book is the very opening. I'm standing at sunrise at Tiger Hill. This is Darjeeling, India. Observing the crack of dawn, uh, looking at Mount Everest and Kachanjunga, the sister hill, with strangers around me. And I feel this incredible oneness and radical inclusivity. I don't know what these people, but I feel inextricably linked. And I felt we're all like wise links in a, an uninterrupted chain of wholeness. And I said like points of attention in a universal field of consciousness. I felt so embraced, uh, so supported. I could feel the unwavering support of the earth. And I could feel, okay, the most ordinary thing, like the sunset or the sunrise, is the most extraordinary moment when we observe it in communion, in compassion and with a sense of inclusivity. It was beautiful. And these are the core values of yoga for me. And another part uh, is at the end of the book, the bunion tree, which is literally one seed that uh, germinated and branched out into a forest, a forest made of one seed. And for me, this is the new direction in yoga, branching roots. We are honoring the ancient tradition but we are modernizing it for our new world. So where do your followers get the book? Anywhere where you get your digital downloads from. Amazon, Kobo, Apple. Great.